June of 1953, I was getting ready to go to work. I worked nights at Buick. We got a funny color in the sky, but just thought maybe it was going to rain or something. I didn't bother me. I got in my car and drove to work. On June 7th, 1953, a series of eight tornadoes known as the Flint Worcester Tornado Outbreak touched down in the eastern half of Michigan causing widespread destruction. One of these tornadoes would become the deadliest and most violent in Michigan history. In the evening hours of June 8th, reports of rain and thunderstorms began coming in from Genesee County. Eyewitnesses reported the clouds and lightning turning the sky into a dark black yellow green color. The Flint Beecher tornado formed at around 8.30 p.m. in the Beecher district of Genesee County, just north of the city of Flint. By that time, hazardous weather broadcasts were already running through the news and people had taken shelter. The tornado ripped its way through the rural farmlands of Genesee County, then later crossed into Lapeer County and left mounds of rubble in its wake. The tornado left a path nearly 27 miles long, and at its widest, it reached nearly a half a mile wide. The tornado caused a total of 19 million U.S. dollars worth of damages, which would be equal to approximately 125 million U.S. dollars in today's money. In total, 340 homes were destroyed, 107 suffered major damage, and an additional 153 suffered minor damage. 116 people were killed, along with another 844 people injured, 113 of which were killed along just a four-mile stretch of road. The tornado itself was described as incredible by witnesses, with wind speeds exceeding a staggering 260 miles per hour and at times even reaching as high as 300 miles per hour. The Flint Beecher tornado was classified as an F5 on the Fujita scale, and it remains the only F5 tornado on record in Michigan. It was like two tornadoes side by side. One was full of sand, the other one was full of rain. And there was rocking chairs and boards and mattress. All the trees was twisted in the yard. I mean, it was just debris everywhere. These days, it's difficult for many to relate to an event that happened over 60 years ago. And while Michigan isn't exactly a state known for its tornadoes, it's probably a good idea to keep this event in mind so that we don't one day make the mistake of underestimating the beast that is nature. That's about it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.